Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome to Present Task Automation Tutorial. As you all know, I have already published 37 YouTube videos covering different concepts of Present Task. So if you take it as an advanced level concepts, I've already published 22 YouTube videos. This is our lesson 38 in terms of Tasca automation concepts and this is our lesson 23 in terms of advanced level concepts. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how can you perform the string operations trim and replace while automating your web application. I'm going to teach you these two operations in solving one obstacle scenario while automating your web application and this is your part one of string operation soon i'm going to publish part two of string operations with more operations please do subscribe to the channel click on bell icon you'll receive notifications whenever i publish more videos thank you so now let us jump onto the system and see how can we perform these string operations in solving one obstacle scenario let us first understand what is the obstacle where we need to use this string operations like trim and replace. So I am just logging into demo web shop as usual. So once you log into demo web shop, let me order one uh, blue jeans. Okay, I am just adding into cart and go to shopping cart and check out the blue jeans and provide all the billing address shipping address and shipping method and all payment details okay so once you provide all the payment details and then i'm going to confirm the order so as soon as i confirm the order i'm going to get the order number right so now i want to extract only order number out of this entire text that means i want to trim some of the spaces and I want to also remove these numerical values and the colon value but I want to just extract the number from this entire text. How can we do that? To automate or to overcome this challenge, let us go to your Tricentis task and see how can we automate this. Okay. So now exercises create one folder called string operations part 1 and here let me create one test case I'll say order number extraction okay this is our test case now if you go to modules so what I did we already scanned the module for the order confirmation. You see, this is the order confirmation module. Okay, in this module, the only change what we did is this is the order number, right? This is the order number. This is the object for the order number and entire text. The only change what we did is for the outer text after order number colon, I've just introduced star means. I just entered the regular expression because this number keeps on changing. Okay. So now let's go back to our test case. So let me bring module to the right side so that I can create test case by using the module. So now I want to drag and drop this order successful module. Okay. Now let me expand this. So what I want to do here in order number i want to store the inner text into a buffer okay let me store this into a buffer called order success message this is not order number but it is order success message with order number correct i'll say instead of order success message okay let it keep it as order success but here I want to store this into a buffer. So now let me run this and see what buffer value we are going to get. Run it. 
So it's going to extract this entire text, right? I want to show you what does it contain. So it extracted the content of this entire module. So let's go to Tricentis Tosca. And here, if you see here, if you observe closely, see this particular text. It has what this entire value. I can see there are some white spaces or blank spaces and order number colon and then some text again some blank spaces. Correct. So now I want to trim all these blank spaces and I want to remove this numeric content and I want to extract only numeric part. How can I do that? First, I will be using trim to remove all these white spaces and I am going to use replace. I am going to replace this entire numeric content including colon with the white space. With the white space. So that the trim function can trim entire white space along with this numeric portion because the numeric portion is being replaced with the white space. So trim function will replace trim the white space. And then you will have only order number. Okay. So now let's go back to our Tricentis Tosca. So here let me add another step called T box set T box set buffer. Okay, I'm going to set the buffer now. Why? I want to set the buffer here saying now I want to extract only order number from where from this message, okay, order success message. So I'm going to use one simple formula here. I'm going to copy this formula because I don't want to enter entire formula here. So let me do one thing. Let me put this as, let me rename this as buffer so that you will understand. B underscore. I'm going to do this way. Okay, copy this. So this is my buffer. Okay, I'm going to replace the buffer name here. Okay, so I'm going to use this entire text. I'm going to explain you what is the formula. Okay, here what I am instructing Tasca. So simply what I'm saying open curly braces, trim. What I want to trim first, I am replacing the string. What is the actual text? This entire message, whatever I'm storing in buffer okay that is my destination message and i want to use this entire message and what is the text that you want to replace i want to replace order number colon so that's why i am specifying that in a square bracket order number colon i want to replace this what i want to replace this by a blank open cur open bracket and close bracket. That means I want to replace this with a white space. I want to replace order number colon with white space and I'm ignoring the case. That means if you enter order number colon, capital O, capital N or whatever. If you are entering in a capital letters or if you are entering in a small letters, it's going to ignore that case. It's going to ignore and it's going to replace everything with white space so that's why i'm ignoring the case and once you replace order number colon with the white space and then i am using the trim function that means it's going to trim entire white space along with the white space that we replaced by using string replace okay so as soon as you do this way it's going to format this way trim String replace. What is the string that we are considering? The string whatever we are storing here into a buffer. That string. And part of the string is order number colon. I want to replace this with a small white space. And I am ignoring the case. Okay. So now let me run this entire test case now. And see what happens. Run this.
First, it stores the value into buffer and then it uses the formula that we entered by using buffer value. So, let me see here. You see, T box, so it stored the white spaces and everything as I told you earlier. Now, we are creating a new buffer called order number and we are extracting only numeric portion. See here, buffer with name order number has set to what? 1561677. Let's go to screen. 1561677. That means it trimmed entire white spaces and it replaced order number with one white space. Right? So it took only numeric portion. Right? So that means we achieved this obstacle by using trim and replace functions. So if you have any queries, leave your queries in the comment box. I will try to respond to your queries. This is our part one of string operation. Okay? So hope you all understand how can you perform trim and replace string operations while automating your test cases. So I am going to publish part two of string operations where I am going to cover uh, more and more operations to automate your test cases. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon. You will receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Thank you.